Hello, my name is Sip Mendez. Welcome to Sip's Handy Tips. And today I'm going to show you how I set up my uh, World Panda Mini Keyboard with uh, Ableton Live version 9 Lite. <laughs> okay. On screen is the, uh, the layout. If you're not seeing your instruments, there's a little down arrow over here and you click on it and it will open where your instruments, effects, and other things are. If I press keys on my keyboard, I don't get any sounds. And that's because MIDI devices do not have voices. You have to select one for it. So I'm going to go to Instruments, Instrument Rack. I'm going to click only on this little uh, arrow here and drop the list. There's Pianos and Keys. I'm go to that one and I'm just going to pick out a grand piano and when you click on these they they play a sample for you and I'm going to drag that one and drop them here okay. and you can also double click on these and they'll also open in the open instrument and you can see that uh, I'm going to call it a channel that channel 1 is open it has been renamed Grand Piano. And um, if I press keys, they're playing already, which is very, very good. Sometimes I have to click on end to open it. At this point, keys are working, but so are the pads. If I hit the pads, I also get piano sound because right now it's in a real general state. We gotta be a little bit more specific. So here where it says all ins, I'm gonna drop that list and I'm gonna go down to World Panda Mini. Okay. And I'm gonna, right here where it says all channels, I'm gonna click on channel one because my um, MIDI is Configure that the keys are channel 1, the pads are channel 10. And as you can tell, that the keyboard still works. Now the pads don't work. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> we'll go over here to the next uh, channel. It says MIDI, the second MIDI. That one too, I will change to World Panda Mini. I'll change its channel to 10. Okay, and keyboard works, pads don't work, but you can see right here that it is receiving signals. So let's go get a voice for this channel. Since I already decided that I'm going to use drums, I'll go back, we'll close this one off. I'll go over to close the instrument rack. I'm going to go ahead and open the drum rack. I only see these guys. These should be fine. And we'll tell it to, uh, we'll drag. Um, okay, we'll go over to there. And we'll drag one of the drum sets over here. Oh, very good. And there is our drums. Now these guys are set to auto. Okay, if I click over on grand, let's see what happens. N nothing happens. Drums are still working. Okay. At this point, if I click on in, that's going to turn on the piano. If, and the drums are still on. And now I'm ready to go. Easy enough done. Well, let's see what else I can tell you about this. Uh, I can tell you that um, these controls 
don't always do exactly what you think they do. If if my piano is working and my drums are not working, I can uh, disable them. If I click on off, that turns off my piano. Drums are still working. If I click on off on this one, now they're all off. If I click on solo, I still have to turn on my keyboard. And I can turn on my drums, but they don't work. When it's, you click on solo, it means that is the only one that's going to work. And uh, you can turn these on and off. You'll notice that when you hit drums, these are grayed out, but you can see it move. If you click on solo on it, then the drums will work. But now the piano is grayed out. Now, the only way to get them back is to turn off solo. When you turn off solo, you can see that these have colored in them now. They're available. Okay. Uh, another thing to note is when um, this little button is red, it means it's ready to record on that one. If you click on this other one, turn it red, turns this one off. If you want to record from both of them at the same time, you can hold control and click on the other one. And now both channels will be ready to record. And we'll do that in the next session. If you've enjoyed this little uh, clip, uh, click on like. <laughs> if you're not a subscriber, click on subscribe and you'll be notified of any new videos I issue. Until then, take care.